Hey everybody, welcome to Citizens Bank Park and welcome to Philly's Baseball on the Video Game Network. And tonight, the New York Mets will take on the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies coming off a 1-0 win against the Atlanta Braves when Ethan Martin pitched a one-hitter was taken out in the eighth inning for Jonathan Papelbon. But the Phillies hung on with a 1-0 win now here at Citizens Bank Park. Hosting the New York Mets for three all on the video game network. Bartolo Colon going for the Mets and Cole Hamels for the Phillies. Cole Hamels looking for his third win, trying to get the ERA down. Has a high ERA. And trying to do something with that here. Here's the Mets starting lineup with Daniel Murphy. Leaning off. You see Cole Hamels rating. Two on two. 32 strikeouts. 11 walks. Here's Daniel Murphy. A batting at 274. And no walls in one strike. To Murphy. First pitch, 707. One ball at one strike. 49 degrees. Three balls and one strike to David Wright. Got that over three and two. Still a full count. Popped him up. Salvador Perez puts it away. There's one out. Bring up David Wright, the third baseman. Outside, one ball and no strike. Side foul. Pass Howard and in the right field. That's a base hit. And Daniel Murphy's on one out base run. Howard didn't get his glove down low enough and then get underneath his glove. And 
And they will score that a base hit. Here is Michael Kadire. And that is a strike on Kadire. Kadire with five home runs. Sky behind the plate. And Perez puts it away as two out. Is Lucas Duda, third in the National League with home and home runs. Wait, that's a ball. A ball and no strikes. All right, two balls and no strikes. Back through to the shortstop. We'll flip it over to second for the out. And that'll retire the side for the Mets. They get a hit in the inning and leave one left. Not on the first. Phillies coming to bat. Ryan Sandberg starting lineup was Rivera, Utley, Beltre, Jordan, Howard, Brown, Salvador Perez, and Andres Blanco. Martolo Colon, the pitcher, two and two. And here's Ben Rivera batting at 241. Balls on one strike. Oh, two. oh and two to Rivera. Bears, guys in the right field, and it's caught by Michael Kadir. One down in the first. Here's Chase Utley. A strike. Utley batting at 265. He has four homers and 15 RBIs. Utley, a base hit in the left field. Taking on a hop by Granderson. Utley is a one out base runner here in the first inning. Here is Adrian Beltre. That was Utley's 1600 hit. Beltre looking to hit career home run number 400. No balls in one strike. Beltre third in the National League in doubles with nine. Two. Inside.
Two balls and two strikes. Now straight on the ground. This is a double play ball. And that'll end the inning. The Phillies get a hit in the inning. None left. We go to the second and score. There's Curtis Granderson batting at 237. He has four home runs. Curtis Granderson. Ball. One ball and no strikes. Yeah. No. Outside, uh, two balls and no strikes. while Lagar is lit weights on deck. Batting at 283 with six RBIs. Granderson goes. This one is a base hit in the right field. Granderson will hold at second. And the Mets have their first two men on base here in the second Nine inning. Ruben Tejada. And it'll bring up Ruben Tejada. Well, Amos is in some trouble here. With Lagares and Grandison on, nobody out. Ball. And ball and no strikes. Tejada betting at 333. Top foul. Come on, let's do it. Another foul. Foul, one ball and two strikes. That is shot in the left field. That's another hit. And the bases will be loaded with Mets and nobody out. So Granderson at third, Lagares at second, Tahada at third, nobody out. There's Travis the Arnold, Arnold with pitcher Bartolo Colon waiting on deck. So if he gets the Arnold out with no harm, he got the pitcher Colon, but sometimes the pitchers are not always easy outs. That is a strike, no balls in one strike. That is foul, 0-2. Oh Did he go? No, he didn't. One ball with two strikes.
Back through the middle, double play ball. They get a double play, but they get a run in for the Mets. They lead them one nothing, but they will take a run for the double play. Well, that's what Cole Hamels needed. He gives up a run, but I'd rather give up a run and two outs than to give up two runs and still nobody out and with the pitcher coming up. Here's Bartolo Colon. Colon takes a strike. Nothing in two now to Cologne. Bounced up there, one ball with two strikes. Two and two. Count. Daniel Murphy waits on deck. Malone <laughs> strikes out, and that'll retire the Mets here in a second. The Mets get a run. The Phillies get a big double play. One left for the Mets to go to the bottom of the second. The Mets lead it one nothing. Here's Brandon Jordan. Betting at 243. It's full for 27 in his last seven games. So he's really struggled a bit. Trying to get back on track here. One strike to Jordan. One and one. Ball. Outside, two balls and one strike. Howard oh, waits on deck. The count is three and one. Bring up Ryan Howard. Howard struggling, batting at 165. He does have four home runs. Yeah, like it said, hold on. After this pitch here, Jordan goes. Howard takes a strike, and Jordan ends up stealing second base. It's going to tell you that I would usually do the radio broadcast at the fourth inning on the radio side. We will have the radio broadcast in the fourth inning on pace of Beltre hitting his 400th home run. But Matt Bash, Gershon, and crew will come your way in the fifth and sixth. And if Beltre does not hit the home run in this game, we'll have it tomorrow until he gets number 400. So hopefully... Valtteri will get 400 in this game. Howard takes a strike is one and two. Two balls and two strikes. Howard ripped to the third baseman and Howard's thrown out. Nice play by David Wright. On down is Dominic Brown. 
Brown with six home runs, 10 RBIs. He's batting at 224. Phillies have had their problems scoring runs in the games. That's a strike, 0 and 1. Brown fouls it. Balls and two strikes. Too low. One and two. <laughs> Bounced up there. Still two balls and two strikes. To David Wright again. Two outs. Here's Salvador Perez. Five game hitting streak. He's betting 278. And the last five has averaged up to 198. So he's starting to come along here during the month of May. Now Perez fouls it. No balls in one strike. Side, one and one. A ball and two strikes. Perez hits this on a David Wright. And that'll retire the Phillies here in the second inning. Phillies leave a man left, go to the third. Mets lead it by one. It's Daniel Murphy. He's 0 for 1. He popped up in the first. Daniel Murphy. On strike to Murphy. Upcoming broadcast, the game cast of Phillies baseball includes tomorrow night's game. And the final game of the series, also on Video Game Network. Ball. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike. Come on. Quick. Sky in the shallow left field. Dominic Brown coming on, and he'll put it away. Here's David Wright. He singled in the first inning. There's one out in the third. On strike the right. On the, the block go. Blocks. There's Kadire. He popped out in the first. Ball. One ball and no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Play. Hit foul. Hit. Oh, Bobble. And that's going to be an error. Now batting the first baseman, Lucas. Duke. Error on Blanco. So they'll bring up Lucas Duda.
Two outs and one on. Let's go, ah. A ball's on one strike. Ball. Low one ball and two strikes. Two, balls, two, two and two to count. Oh, Another foul. Amos has thrown 50 pitches. Count four. Four count two now. Curtis five. Grant is in on deck. Guy in the left field, Dominic Brown putting it away. Out of retire, the Mets in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third, one nothing New York. Here's Andres Blanco. Glad he got two hundred, one home run. Blanco fouls it on the first base side. Blanco again fouls it. All in two to Blanco. Side shallow hop and. Daniel Murphy will put this one away. One out here in the third. I'll bring up Cole Hamels. A 0 77 hitter this season. Hamels takes a strike. On ball and one strike. Hamels to Murphy. Here's Ben Rivera. He's 0 for 1 with a line out. There it takes inside. One ball and no strikes. One and one. Another pop up by Revere. And this will be put away. And that will retire the Phillies. Lucas Duda with the catch. Phillies go in order. We go to the fourth. One nothing, New York. Curtis Grandison leads off for the Mets in the fourth. Grandison single to the first time up. A lined up by Hamels and the pitch to Grandison is inside for a ball. One ball with no strikes to Curtis Grandison. The Mets have four hits in this game. Affiliates with one. Now the 1-0 pitch, swing and a base hit to center field. 
So Grand Island Sanders, the leadoff base runner here in the fourth. That's the Mets' fifth hit of the game. And they will bring up Juan Lagarde. Lagarde is one for one. He singled back in the second inning. And both from the stretch. Come on, would you turn two now? And the pitch to Lagarde is inside for a ball. One ball with no strikes. And also 55 pitches. He's given up a lot of leadoff base hits. Had the bases loaded in the second inning. The escape when only giving up one run. And a 1-0 pitch is inside for a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Stretched by Hamels, the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a miss, two balls and one strike. A stretch by Hamels. And the 2-1 pitch on the way. Grandison goes, swing and a foul. So the count is even up at 2-2. Two and two. Hamels into the stretch. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Yeah. Call third strike. He didn't go, but the pitch was in for a strike. Agaris is out on strikes. There's one down here in the fourth. For Urban Tejado on bat for the Mets. Hamels from the stretch. And Grandison runs, here's the pitch, swing it up. Oh, pass Utley for a base hit. Grandison is going to go to third. Here's the throw to third. He is safe at third. Grandison had to stop because he did not know. He had to stop at second because he did not know if the ball was going to go through or Utley was gonna, almost made a spectacular play. Grandison stopped and then decided to go to third, a risky play, but he did make it to third. And the Mets have runners at first and third and one out. Here's DeArno, and DeArno takes it outside for a ball, one ball with no strikes. Hamels from the stretch. No oh, one no pitch. Low to one no. Bartolo Colon waits on deck. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Swag and a ground ball. They're going to get a double play out of this. Utley just the Howard double play. And the Phillies get out of another jam. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Mets leave one left. They get two hits in the inning. We, it, Mets still lead one to nothing. Bottom of the fourth, here is Chase Utley. The ball is throwing 39 pitches. So here's the pitch to Utley. He is in on the outside corner for a strike. No balls and one strike. Cologne, ready. The 0 1 pitch. Low. A ball and one strike. Cologne is pretty fast. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Way and a base hit to left field. That leaves the leadoff base runner here to fourth. And I'll bring up A.G. and Beltre. He grounded out here in the first inning. Cologne from the stretch. And the pitch to Beltre in for a strike. No balls and one strike. They out of the double play already. Here's the 0-1 pitch. 
Low, one ball and one strike. Beltray batting third in tonight's game. Jordan at fourth and Howard at fifth. Here's the pitch to Beltray swing and a base hit to right field. Utley had to wait and he's on the end of that second. The Phillies had their first two men on base here in the fourth inning. Utley had to make sure the ball didn't hit him so he stopped. And he still made it to second. Here's Brandon Jordan. He walked his first time up. Now to pitch to Jordan. Outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Alone from the stretch. One no pitch. Slow. Two balls and no strikes. Love from the stretch. The 2 0 pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Pass the second base hit for a base hit. Utley Ravi third. He'll score. And the Phillies take a one to nothing. Tied the game at a one here in the fourth inning on an RBI single by Brandon Jordan. That was a rocket pass, Daniel Murphy. And Jordan ends up knocking in an RBI. So it's 1-1 one, one in the fourth. Here's Ryan Howard who grounded out in the second inning. Here's the pitch to Howard. Low. Oh, the ball gets away. The runners will advance. Belcher advances the third. Jordan will advance the second on the wild pitch. And that leaves a base open. So let's see what... what Cologne will do to Howard. Will he intentionally walk Howard or will he pitch to him? The scores, they will score the wild pitch. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0 pitch. Swing and a Watch this one! Up in the bleachers! A three-run home run for Brian Howard! And the Phillies take a 4-1 to one lead in the fourth. That is Howard Spitt. Ryan Howard sat out a couple of games because he was struggling. But he took a shot at this one and knocked it out the ballpark. The three-run homer for Ryan Howard. And Bartolo Colon shaking his head on the mound. And they'll bring up Dominic Brown. And Philly still have nobody out. Here's the pitch to Brown and a fling and a foul. A ball's and one strike to Brown. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And for a strike, no balls and two strikes. Come on, Billy. Now the 0 2 pitch. Low, 1 and 2. Here's the 1 2 pitch. Swing and a base hit to center field. So Brown is on first, still nobody out. And it'll bring up Salvador Perez. Perez is 0 for 1, he grounded out in the second. Here's the pitch to Perez, and for a strike. No balls in one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Low, one ball and one strike. Run, run, he's going. 
A 1-1 pitch, swag at a ground ball to Colon. He'll throw on the first of the out. Brown moves up to second. Brown ran on the pitch. So it'll be a sacrifice. And it'll bring up Andres Blanco. The broken bat almost went to the second base side. Blanco up at bat. Brown at second with one out. Here's the pitch to Blanco. Up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a base hit to center field. Brown rounding third. They're going to wait. No, he's gonna, they're going to wave him home. Here's the throw home. It's offline. Brown scores. And the Phillies take a 5-1 lead here in the fourth inning. So the Phillies put up a five spot here in the fourth. Lagara's throw was in plenty of time, but the throw was offline. And that allowed Brown to come in to score because he was going to hold up that third, but Brown decided to go, and here is Cole Hamels. Hamels will try to bunt, gets the bunt down. Good bunt. Throw over to Colon is in time for the out. Blanco moves up to second. So the two outs. And Terry Collins will come out and he will make a pitching change. So Colon will leave the game and give it up five runs. And a four, and they're going to bring in Dylan G. He's a relief pitcher, 0 and 1, 10 strikeouts and four walks. It was in the Mets starting rotation last season. Here's Ben Revere. He popped out and lined out. Here's the pitch to Revere. Swing and a foul. No balls in one strike. G from the stretch. The 0 1 pitch. Outside, one ball and one strike. Here's the 1 1 pitch. And for a strike is one and two. two pitch. Swing and a miss. He chased an inside low pitch. He got him. I don't tie the side, but the Phillies put a five spot on the board in the fourth. Three of them came on Howard's three-run homer. We go to the fifth. Phillies lead it five to one. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now here it comes. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Here it comes. Got him. This is a much different situation for him on the mound after that five-run inning. All of a sudden, he's working with a lead now, and he does a good job there of getting that first out. Daniel Murphy will dig in again. He popped up in his first plate appearance and flew out last time around. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Here's the pitch. Fouled back. And now pitch on the way. 
A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Here's a hard hit ball up the middle, and Hamels can only watch it as it's into center field for a base hit. Well, with the at-bats going up, the average has been going down, and he's below 280 now, so he's got to be hoping that this base hit here gets him back on track towards getting that average into the 300s again. David Wright will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. First pitch coming. And here's a fastball from Hamels to begin the at-bat as he climbs ahead, nothing and one. And you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around, and that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. Fawz, now the pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but... You know, he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. Next pitch from Hamels tonight will be number 73 for him in the ballgame. Now the 1-1. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. Blanco backs up and takes care of it. Two away. And, and this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop-up, and that's exactly what they got. In now, Michael Kadir, as he oh. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. 1-0 pitch now. And the off-speed pitch is taken here, a ball and a strike. Seems like he's gotten away with more than a few location mistakes so far. Yeah, and that's not going to last forever, especially in this place. Hamill's ready with the 1-1. Pitch misses the throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Well, these guys haven't had a ton of base runners, so... They haven't had a chance to run on this guy through the first half of the game. But he picked a good spot to run there, and he makes it into second safely. Hits are even at seven apiece. Here's the 2-1 to Kadir. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the run's going to score as they inch back a bit closer. It's now a 5-2 ball game. That's all about picking up your teammate there. The guy before him pops up and can't get the run home, so he's up there saying, hey, don't worry, I got it. He knocks in the two-out RBI. Lucas Duda will try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. First pitch to him. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. There's the lefty's offering on one and two. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curve ball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And even though that runs the count full, you'll at least get the benefit of giving that runner at first a head start here. Three and two, here it is. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. The next three, two. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. You can see the pitching coach heading for the mound. And this is nothing more than just trying to reassure your guy and give him a chance to compose himself. He's been great so far, so there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. Curtis Granderson. We'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Here's the first offering. First Whoa. pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Oh, Here's the 1-0. Oh. Yep. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Sticking with the soft stuff here as this misses. It's 2-1. and one. You know what? He's starting to skate on some thin ice here, and sooner or later, he's going to have to challenge him. The 2-1 now to Granderson. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Fastball here? I think it has to be. You're licking your chops if you're the hitter. Three and one. You can't walk the bases loaded. Bail and whale. The three one is on the way. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, this fifth inning has certainly not gone to form. That's his second walk so far. If he gets to three, you'd have to wonder if that might be the end of the line. Juan Ligaris will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. You gotta say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. On, he's ready. Now the pitch. This is on the ground to short. Is he gonna get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Home half of the fifth coming up. Phillies lead this one five to two. Carlos Torres is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Chase Utley will step in. Singleton came around to score his last time. And that's in there for strike one. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Pitch on the way. And that misses one and one. Wait for the pitch. The one-one home. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two one. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. It's 
sets the 2-2 pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Here's the 3-2 Here pitch. And that ball misses four. ball four now to lead off walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Wow, just a great at bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. Adrian Beltre will stand in. He's one for two so far. First pitch on the way. Runner goes. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gun. Yeah, and here with the runner who's on the move, you've got no chance of even thinking about getting the double play. So a smart idea there just to take the sure out at first. Brandon Jordan will step in. An RBI single this last time around. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Here's the first pitch to him. And a ball 1-0. Oh. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Here we go now, Phil. 1-0 on the way. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, it's danger any way you look at it right here. You've got a base open, but you've got an even better hitter waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go right after him. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Too tight no, with that one. 3-0. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Rio is on the way. A ball hit hard to the left side. And heads up down there as he just had to cover up as this skips right over his head. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Boy, you want a wake-up call as an infielder? How about this one? That's just a duck and cover there. Here's big Ryan Howard now, as he'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. He seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. And that one cut a little too much, a ball and a strike. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Here comes the 1-1. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seat. The one and two with one away. That swung on and lifted down the left field line. The catch is made near the line in left, tagging the runner from third. And they'll add one more on the sacrifice fly as this is now a six to two ball game. Well, they were looking for at least a sack fly here. Fortunately for them, they had the right man for the job at the plate. So, nice work to come through and drive home an important run. Dominic Brown will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Now the first pitch. And too high with the cut fastball. It's 1-0 now. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. Here's the 1-0. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight and it's 2-0 now. And on 2-0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here comes the 2-0. This ball will be chopped foul.
Now the 2 1 pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Now you've got a run already in, another runner on first. You've got to think this has to be a fastball here. Here he comes on 3 1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's the full count offering. And they bunch him up inside on this one as it's grounded to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Ruben Tejada will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Shortstop, Ruben Tejada. First pitch coming. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit, you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself for the first down. Travis Darno will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's the pitch. Ball one. EK, the starter creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with the way the teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And now against his body, a jump throw. Not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Well, this would have taken a superhuman effort right here, deep in the hole. You see, he doesn't have time to plan himself, so he just leaps into the air, fires it across the diamond. Just a great effort, but this was always going to be a base hit. Wilmer Flores will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four, Wilmer Flores. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And a cut ball. fastball, but this bounces near One the plate ball. for a ball. No Here's a 1-0. Ball chop foul right at home plate, and that evens the count at one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And through five and a third, already coming up on a hundred pitches here. Runners on first with one down. Here comes the 2 1. 2 1 pitch, a circle change taken for a cold strike two. He's going to steal, I'm telling you. The 2 2 coming. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ready with another 2-2. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Jordan 
gets back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath any time a ball's hitting the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much, and that runner has to retreat back to first base. Daniel Murphy will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. It appears safe to say now that that man right there has turned things around from his last start. And it's a great sign, too, of exactly what you need to do. You have to have a short memory out there, but you're right. He's pitching with a lot more confidence in this outing. Comes set, now the pitch. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. From the stretch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. That big curveball is not an easy one to take on an 0-2 count. That's a great job of holding off. The one two. And this is going to be a foul ball. He'll try again one two. And this is going to be a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing. High drive deep down the left field line. This ball is slicing. And that's off the left field wall. Around third and being waved on home. Now the relay home. And the runner will score from first. Well, time for another old baseball cliche. It's a game of inches. And it was on this ball. Take a look at how close this is to the foul line. And this is not a fair ball by a whole lot, but I guarantee you he'll take it. He pulls into second with an RBI double. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Danger here is this is a guy who can make this a one-run game. And if he does, make him do it out to right field. I wouldn't give him anything he can pull. The 1-0 pitch. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Ready now on one and one. Fastball called strike. One and two. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. Comes set. Now the pitch. And a drive out to deep right center field. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. A two-run homer for David Wright. Sixth home run on the season for him. And this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. And that's what you're paying your big horse to do out there. I think he knew he wasn't going to get a fastball right there, so he just stays back as long as he can and then just explodes right through the zone. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And a change is forthcoming as that'll be all here for Cole Hamels. So as he leaves with the bases empty, he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one-run lead. Jake Diekman is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 63. Now 
standing in now. Michael Kadire as the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Ball two to Kadire. Two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now the 3 and 0 offering. Swing and a miss as he couldn't hold back. Three and one. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. Now the three one. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now. Three and two. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on him, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. The 3-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Philly six and the Mets five. Jerry's Familia will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Salvador Perez will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Now a check swing as he's able to fight this one off. Foul. The pitch. This is foul right side. Now here it comes. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Andres Blanco will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now the 1 0 pitch. One and one. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. One out, nobody on. The one one. That's right there at the belt. One and two now. Here comes a one two. Fouled straight back. Here's a this ball two. Oh, that's not a bad idea right there. Go ahead and try that back foot slider on a one and two. Hope you can get him to commit. That's a good job of laying off of that pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Kadire is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. You hear us talk about shut down innings, and that's when you hold the team scoreless after you've scored in your half. Well, after his guys cut the lead down to one, only one out away to a shutdown in here. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Now the pitch. Ball, ball one. Yeah, one ball. after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was Two looking ball. for something out there. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Three. Off speed pitch good for strike two. Yeah it's hard to look for a change up there especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. And this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. Ben Revere would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Foul. Three two here it comes. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate so we'll do it again still three and two. 
full count offering on its way. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They lead it, however, it's six to five. Seventh inning. And here's a fly ball hit to left field. Brown going back. This ball's gone. And the Mets have tied the game here in the seventh inning. Lucas Duda with a solo home run. The Mets have tied it at six. Well, Lucas Duda hit right down the middle of the plate, slowly giving up a home run in the top of the seventh on the first pitch. Just out of the reach of Dominic Brown. That is his eighth home run of the season. Here's Curtis Granderson, and he takes a strike. No balls and one strike. Low one and one. Uh. Little sky pop up. Ryan Howard puts it away. It is one out here in the seventh inning. Just got out in front of that one. A mile high pop up. And they're going to bring in Justin DeFreitas. DeFreitas in his 17th game. He's pitched 14 innings, walked four, struck out 12 in 17 games. A 3.07 ERA. No balls and one strike. Down, ball. Phillies had a 5-1 lead in the fourth inning. And the Mets fall all the way back with runs in the sixth. Now they've come back to tie it at six here in the seventh. Ball. Two balls and two strikes. Oh, that's wrong, huh? So wrong. Hit foul, two and two. Get out of here, Got him. Two down here in the seventh. Travis DeArnold will, is the batter. Ball. One ball and one strike.
Foul. Hit on the ground. And Howard scores the out. That'll win the inning. Uh, Lucas Duda with a solo shot to tie the game here in the top of the seventh. There's Ben Repair. in the game for the Mets. That ball skied a deep right field and caught by Michael Kadaya. Very familiar in his second inning. He chased that leads two for two, two singles and scored twice. Balls on one strike. No balls and two strikes. Got him. At least call it out on strikes. Two down there in the seventh. And here is, a, here is Adrian Beltre. Low one ball and no strikes. He's trying to bounce back and retake the lead. Ball. Two balls and no strikes. Get it out of here. Yeah, good eye. Go. Brandon Jordan waiting on deck. Let's see if Beltre will get a green light. He walked him. So it'll bring up Brandon Shorten. Jordan is two for two. Two singles and has knocked in a run. Ryan Howard waits on deck. Oh, and one. I think he didn't want to pitch to Beltre, so he just pitched around him and tried to go after Jordan, but Jordan has single twice. So you just pick your poison here. Jordan Howard, Dominic Brown, they, they both hit the ball. No oh, balls and two strikes to Jordan. He's got in front of Jordan quickly, 0-2. Got him on three straight pitches. Jordan didn't get a chance to take his bat off his shoulder. Got him in the inning. We go to the eighth. 6-6. Six, six. It's Travis DeArnold. He's one for three. 
Papelbon's in the bullpen. That is no balls on one strike. It, oh, what a play by Belche. Fires over the first. But the outer is one down here in the eighth. Yeah, you see the line score here. Mets tied it in a seven. The Phillies got five in the fourth. Mets with three in the sixth and one in the seventh. one strike. Right to Utley. Two outs. Evans is out. And it will bring up Daniel Murphy. Murphy's two for four. He doubled and singled. That is past Howard and a base hit. So Murphy's on with two outs. Sixth inning. This is David Wright. A home run to make it a six to five ball game, and the Mets tied it in the seventh. On the outside corner, Mets have out hit the Phillies. 13 to 8. That is caught by Howard. What a catch by Howard. That'll retire the Mets save in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Tied at six. Josh Egan pitching for the Mets. You see his ERA, 804. He's 0-3 with 10 strikeouts and 8 walks. Ryan Howard will be the batter. He homered, hit a three-run homer in the fourth. No balls and one strike. Outside, two balls and two strikes. Full count now to Howard. Dominic Brown waits on deck. That's 
Walker. They put Tyler on and it'll bring up Dominic Brown. Freddie Gavis will be the pinch runner. Dominic Brown, one for three. He singled and scored the run. Did he go? Yes, he did. There's a strike. No balls in one strike. One and one. Back through the middle, might be one, and it's two. Nice split by the shortstop. Nice play by Ruben Zahada going from Murphy to Duda for the double play. Look at this. It's Salvador Perez. And full ball, one ball and no strike. Two balls and no strikes. Three and nothing. I just Blanco waits on deck. That's a strike. Three balls and one strike. count now. Oh, third strike. He struck him out. We go to the ninth inning. We're tied at six. Your attention, please. This change for the Phillies. Now playing first base, number 17, Freddie Galvis. Freddie Galvis will stay in the game. Now catching, number 37, Cameron. Cameron Ruff is the catcher. And Dan Ruff's at first base. Michael Goddire will be the batter. Right fielder, Michael Goddire. A lot of Mets fans here. One ball with no strikes. Brian Giles is into the game for the Phillies. Two or nothing. Get that open, two balls and one strike. That is I mean, a hit in the gap, the right center field. That's going to be a double for Michael Kadire. So Michael Kadire with a leadoff double here in the ninth inning. The Mets are in business. And you hear the cheers here from the, some of the Mets fans here at Citizens Bank Park. So Michael Kadire with a nice double in the right center field. Here's Lucas Duda 
He tied the game with a home run in the seventh. One ball and no strikes. Two and zero. Oh. Foul. Three balls and one strike. Curtis Granderson waits on deck. Cavs in a little bit of a trouble here. That is foul, so the count is four. Struck him out. One down here in the ninth. Here's Curtis Grandison. He's one for two. He singled and scored the run. Let's get him out. Oh, there's a shot to deep right field. Jordan going back. He watches it go. A two-run homer for Curtis Granderson. And the Mets lead it 8-6 to six here in the ninth inning. That's Granderson's fifth home run of the season. And the Phillies had a 5-1 lead in the fourth inning and is evaporated. Take a look at Curtis Granderson right down the heart of the plate, and he hits it in the right field bleachers. Your attention, and now they're going to bring Jerome Williams into the game. As a strike, no balls and one strike. So the Phillies down by two, going into the bottom of the ninth. So they will have their work cut out for them. One ball and one strike. Two and one. Mets with three home runs in the game. And on the ground, Utley will fire over to Galvis for the out. Well, I said Darren Ruff was that first guy. was playing first base for Ryan Howard. Two outs is Ruben Tejada. He singled twice. Outside, one ball and no strikes. One and one. Two balls and one strike. In on the ground, Utley will fire over the Galvis for the out. And that'll retire the Mets here in the ninth for Curtis Granderson. With a two-run home run in the top of the ninth, the Mets now with an eight to six lead. 
So Bobby Parnell will be the new pitcher. He'll try to close this game out. He is 2-0, a 4.50 ERA, six strikeouts and two walks. Here's Andres Blanco, he's one for three, he's single. Blanco takes a strike, no balls and one strike. Got that over 0-2. Chase the low pitch, he got him. Uh, throw over the first, it's Blanco. There's one out here in the ninth. Here's Cameron Ruff, he's batting at 200. And Parnell is throwing strikes. Well, the life is probably almost sucked out of the Phillies. Ooh, great pitch there. No balls and two strikes. One and two. Ben Bear, Utley, and Beltre are due up at the rough. Two balls and two strikes. Got him. Ruff can't believe it. He's called out on strikes. There are two outs in the ninth for Ben Rivera, who is 0 for 4. Barnell's throwing strikes. Trying to close it out for the Mets. Rivera sends it in the center field. And that's the ball game. A 1 2 3 inning for Parnell. And the Mets come from behind five to one to win the game by the score of eight to six. Curtis Granderson, the two run home run, and the top of the ninth was a difference maker. Billy's got to be frustrated after that loss. They like they had the game well in hand. But the Mets came back and won it by the score of 8-6 to six and take the first game out of a three-game series at Citizens Bank Park. Player of the game is Curtis Granderson. He had two hits. And the big blow, the two-run home run in the ninth inning. Phillies Mets win by the score of eight to six. We will talk to you next time when the Phillies take on the Mets in the second game of a three-game series. For more gameplay commentary and more, log on to subscribe to this YouTube channel.